Hey you, so on this video, um, important gold and silver q and I'm just going to be doing that. Just put a few answers to some things that I may have come up with and also answer a few questions that have been put out there as you know, been really tied down lately. So I was supposed to be doing or getting my videos up a lot more and releasing content, but you know, I'm trying to catch up with myself. But even with that said, a lot of the replying in the comments and even being active on Instagram and replying to emails, I have caught up myself a little, hasn't been the case. So I may just do more videos like this where I just pull a lot of the questions I'm constantly getting asked about and just do a video. It's a lot easier for me to just do the videos and take it from there. So I'm just gonna do a short one today on some of the, the, the top ones that have come up and then we'll take it from there and see how it goes on. I've got a few coins. I was gonna do a different video, but I've got a few coins in the background not all but you know a few of these weren't the best of my pickups so also give a little show and tell of these and maybe get into an in-depth video at a later date so jumping into this one first off if you like what you hear or dislike or whatever and you haven't done so already go ahead and subscribe and also it'll be fantastic to hear your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments for anything or any input that you may want to add on to this so the first question i will address was why I still stack silver you know and this has mainly come about from a video I done recently a couple of videos back what video was it why I believed silver would be staying low in price for the next 10 plus years you know it was videos like this that normally have people that have never commented before just you know newcomers to the channel coming in and giving their little two cents but it, it's, it lives up to what I was one of the reasons I was mentioning it not in that video in another where I'd mentioned that silver stackers can be overly emotional in comparison to gold stackers and some of the comments have, have, have proved that you know a lot of the times it's, it's gospel to some of these guys they love to either hear the same regurgitation if they're watching a youtuber that will gladly regurgitate whatever they've heard be it you know silver is ran out you know we're, we're, we're at peak silver you're never going to see another ounce of silver again I don't know what the common regurgitations are. Any moment now, we're going to be jumping through the roof at silver. And, you know, it's the most important commodity. We're the smartest guys in the room. Everybody else is either bonkers or stupid, and they don't know the big secret we do. That is the most valuable asset, and tomorrow silver is going to be $1,000, and here's why. Just a lot of the regurgitation. Obviously, started from Dwayne, but I respect and rate his work because he was the first to put that forward, and even Morgan and Manoli and those other guys. But... A lot of the times when guys fall into that trap for whatever reasons, they, they like to hear their YouTubers regurgent out or just, you know, or cheerlead and fist pumping silver all the way. I stated in the video, I still do stack the stuff. I'm a heavy investor in silver, but different people came from different angles. So answering the question of why I still stack silver is I didn't say I'm not stacking silver in the video and I, I didn't say silver's gonna drop in price i said why well, it's going to stay low in price basically where it currently is so we'll be looking at where we was or a little lower who knows if it did tank if the video wasn't being under that guys if it was to tank as i'm invested i would maybe step in more maybe go for more higher collector coin pieces as i did back then at my current level on my silver stack i'm actually still in the green you know, I can't say for something like my crypto stack or other things that I'm invested in. And I am invested in other things, bar the stock market. I'm damn near invested in everything from property, art, you know, a lot of things, cryptos, gold and silver. So it's not the only bucket that I've got my fingers in. But short of that, my stack, I purchased the bulk of my foundation on a much lower spot price to what we are now. So I could actually sell my stack, even when I done the big um, full stack foundation video, I could have sold it then for a profit, time of release, silver's jumped up a smidgen. I could still sell my foundation for a profit, then to take into account my collector coins, with the many I have done that have done fantastic, I could actually walk away from silver at, in, in well in the green, and you know, dump it all into gold if be so. But I'm comfortable in my position of silver. I got into it with certain you know, thoughts and mindsets, but I've, where I've ended up now was the purpose of the video, whereas I believe personally, just from being in it for how long I've been in it for, it's gonna take a little longer, you know? Whoever it is that's screaming charts and, you know, foreseeable futures and this guy said that, we would have had the $1,000 silver a long time ago. Much has happened since 2008. 
every other day it's a video stating from whoever it is this has never happened before this rate hike or this cause in the government here or this trigger over here with north korea or iran this is what's going to shoot the prices and we are where we are nothing against that it's just my current standpoint i see it taking a lot longer because a lot's happened since 2008 to 2019 where we are now at time for release of this video and you've had more than enough trigger points that could have taken place if you don't know i've always stated that i would review my position in silver come 2020 for my own personal reasons I'm not saying i'll dump by no means but i'll review it and tweak it and that's what i've been doing in the long run but so me putting it out there and saying i see it taking longer i have my own reasons that's part of me reviewing and looking at where it was i didn't think it was going to shoot up overnight i wasn't part of the bingo ticket you know i know a lot of people get into silver because they believe it's what their budget affords and allows them to get into and we all have our own reasons but for myself i still stack it because of for the core reasons i still see it playing a good purpose there i still think there is an opportunity as looking at my own stack now i can sell it for more than i purchased it for nothing insane it could easily double even triple in price from where we are are we talking a hundred dollars plus who knows anything is possible do i see that we've seen up in what the 50 dollars 35 pounds sterling upwards that would be a, a fantastic spot for me looking at silver to liquidate 50 70 who knows but most definitely see more of a long-term position for me in gold i'm still well it wasn't so hard set before but i still see that as the long 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 term good position to be in just from conversations i've had and the outlook that i've seen from establishments and just big figures that i've come across for me that's going to want to be where i want to go for decades and hand down whereas with the silver stack i've had a lot of fun doing it and this channel was part of the fun as you can all see this was originally started off with me showing the silver getting into the collector coins and the likes of so my position on that is still the same you know, ultimately every cloud has a silver lining, people. <laughs> it's, it's dire times at the moment, but it's going to get a lot better as it be. Uh, it is what it is. You know, I'm always going to hold that same approach and have the same outlook. I'd love to be wrong, as I mentioned them. I'm invested for the reasons I've mentioned in here, because I am for my core reasons. You can go back and see other videos where I go more in depth in that. But I still have faith in it and it still is playing a good role in that the chunk of money I put it in that I put into it is still secure. I could cash out as cumbersome and troubling as it would be lugging it about and I could still be in a positive position. So I still see it's been high before and it has potential to go high again. I don't see crazy, ridiculous, silly highs. I think a lot more outside forces would prevent that from happening. Whereas many people think it's needed more and it's an industrial metal. I see that now anchoring it down and keeping it at a level headed price. Yes, more people in paper silver may gain from a, a shoot up in price, but physical holders, I'm seeing a different position, when we're, especially when we're talking silver. I'm seeing it's being held at this price for a reason, and it may very well sit there for long term. So that's just my outlook on it. I don't want to be in a situation where, you know, if it shoots up, I'm converting silver to gold. I'm buying both now because I can afford to, and I see that as the best logical plan. I'm not as aggressively purchasing as I once was, and I'm still the same. So getting on to the next question it's going to be what have been the best collector coins of 2019 so far so what do i think have been the best whether i've been picking them up or not picking them up so this one here is i would say it's hard to answer really because if it's going to be purely off of 2019 this year i have picked up a few pieces gold and silver i will get to showing that in a video as always stated but um, a lot of the coins that have done well, in my opinion, have been continuation of series. When we're talking brand new releases of 2019, it's been a slim market. There's been slim pickings, in my opinion, only my opinion here. I'm focusing mainly on what I've been focusing on in the past, a lot from the more stronger mints and just, you know, good track record coins. So I would say off the bat, the first one I would say that had been released, first release in 2019, or well, coming off the last video I'd done, I would say the Germanias have done okay. And they've done pretty decent because they was just their first issues were lifted in 2019. The problem I see with them is that they are becoming a great for the mint slash dealers, not so great for the collectors slash cowboys in the long run. Once again, if you're a purist collector 
and you don't give a damn where the price is going to be you get it because you love it none of this applies to you if you're someone that's picking these up and you're paying a larger premium over spot price already and taking that risk and thinking it's going to pay off in the long term either when you flip long or short term it's not one i can see doing too well in the long term for that type of individual because They've just gone a bit too crazy on their releases. They've got on their website coming soon. Once again, nothing wrong with that. As a, for a business, that's fantastic when you can create a product and it's moving and it's got a big following behind it. But then you have to look at it. See, they and all dealers will always be able to fall back on saying we're making these collector coins for the collectors. And I'll get into that in the next question. So for them, they're not doing nothing wrong. But if a collector was to approach them or do some type of poll, and then find out what the collectors really want. They would want exclusivity. They would want something that's not oversaturated. They would want, you know, a product that's not going to be abused from the the guys that are handing it over to us at some point. So they're going to want something left on where they can get there. Should they want to keep it for long or short term? That's what they want. I think the trap there is that they're releasing so much. Regardless of how you look at it, you're gonna have you're gonna find yourself oversaturated. And that's the only problem I see with them. But currently their releases are doing okay for brand new of 2019. Outside of that, I would have to be continuation sets. So Queen's Beast are still going from strength to strength. You've had the series falling off the back of the what was it? The Dragon Phoenix or the Tiger Dragon, the Dragon Dragon. Those are still doing pretty decent. We've had a, a, a lot of new coins. I've recently asked about the Helena Tiger, Helena Tiger, and I was definitely getting that up in the um, Good, Bad, Ugly video coming up, but I can see it's one of those coins that seems to be jumping up in price and in increments every second that goes by. My thoughts, giving a quick thought and opinion on that coin there is, it's just, it's it's, it's an Apex exclusive, first and foremost, so take that as you want, but you know, the, the plan here seems to be 3K mintage. I'm seeing in Europe, they're starting at down there. 40 euros 30 euros for me personally that's a turn off ultimately these are all my own personal thoughts and opinions but i would say as much as you love the coin or somebody may love the coin and want it to be fantastic depending on how you're looking at that once again if you want to be able to flip that for some type of profit at a later date do you see the helena tiger helena tiger whatever it is the new release going on to be as popular whether they're going to be doing a new wildlife release as say for instance the queen's bee series putting it up against something like that or I don't know, the swans, or having that prestige. Yes, the, the big selling points here are obviously going to be the, the 3K mintage, but that had to be rustled up to bring some type of razzle-dazzle to the coin. I see a lot of these, especially when they're Atmex exclusives, as you know, long-term traps. Once again, fantastic for the dealer slash mints making them, but off of the coin and the looks i think it looks fantastic you know but it's once again it's not nothing that i will personally be getting myself into looking at a lot of the 2019 releases and previous i haven't picked nothing up of the big few you know a lot of the coins that i've appreciated and i could make a real killing off now were purchased in 2018 2017 whereas if i would have picked up anything in 2019 i can't say it would have done halfway as good so Finishing up on that question there, the big hits of 2019 so far, I would say, and it, believe you me, there have been a lot more, and this is why I'd love for guys to leave in the comments, especially if you've been involved in them, you know, let us know how well they've done. I'm just touching upon what I was involved in and what I've seen. So by no means am I referring to everything. As mentioned many times, I like to focus mainly on the big mints and a lot more of the name brand coins that have more a lot more coverage. And you could say liquidity worldwide. So if you're going to say that you could be looking at a Perf Mint Luna coin, for instance, mentioning something like that would get a lot of dealers interested worldwide. I know there's a lot of coins and other ones that I'm just not involved in. But, you know, those, it's, it's been quiet. It's been a quiet year for me personally that I haven't got involved and there's been nothing that I thought I, would, I wouldn't mind have got involved in that. But there have been a few saying that, but these are the, the trade dollar coins and the dollar dollar coins, whatever they were. I can't remember them now off the top of my head. But outside of that, I would say that's where that is. So on to the next question. It's going to be something that a few people have been barking on on some of my older videos and in the comments. And that's that a lot of the coins that I'm showing here, it's modern junk, not collector coins. 
Yeah, I know there are people I've actually blocked that because they were just getting ham in the comments and just couldn't contain their emotions, control themselves. And just saying a lot of the stuff here I'm showing is modern junk. It's not a collector coin. Don't refer to it as a collector coin. I know this stuff isn't some 5,000 year old Morgan, but whether you like it or not, going up and onto the current market now in terms of collector coins, these are collector coins. These are made by the same mints or the now mints that would have made your antique or you know historic coins back in the days. There's nothing stopping this coin from being whatever you're referring to, I don't know, 100 years from now. So straight away I'll tell you that these are, these are collector coins. Is the collector market the same? I would say most definitely not. You know, but then I would say that for many markets, once upon a time, it was, you know, you had people clicking bottle caps and stuff, you know, comics, these were profitable things and coins were just one of those things. I see where we are now, generationally, that's even a word, as a, we're in a different place altogether in the world today. You know, what we done, the kids of today ain't doing. And once again, I put these things up because I'll have people in the comments say, well, my kids do it. And, well, that's great for you. Ask your kids what their friends do. So getting on to that. Today's well, these are the collector coins, whether you like it or not. This is where the market is, when, when you're talking the mints that are in today. And this is what they're producing as collector coins. These are made for collecting. You know, numismatic, semi numismatic, call it what you want. You may not like it, you may call it, refer to them as modern junk, but this is it. You know, this is from here, what the coins you're seeing here, and the ones you've seen on my videos before, moving forward, are going to be what tomorrow's generation and this generation are gonna have to pick from, whether you like it or not. I think it goes to show, when you look at many things, many would say to the current presidents or whatever, this is where we are as a society. I think collecting coins is one of those genres that just got headshot like many others. It's just not, in no more kids don't do that they've got their minds preoccupied i don't know with porn up or something like that they're, they've got it's just it's just that world we live in today that social media platform world kids don't play football they play rocket league or something like that that's just where we are there's nothing we can do about that i'm not one of those in my days it was like this i don't know how old you may be you know i'm young enough where i'm not screaming those talks but i understand and know that we're in a different place today the collector coin market, modern trash, all these old ancient coins you're talking about has changed. You know, I think even somebody that may have a, a, a massive hoard like that, it's only going to be sold and it needs to be resold on. So at some point, those older, older golden age collectors are going to pass on and that collection is going to get watered down or not appreciated. This is why myself, looking at my ultimate stack, it won't be what I like, it'll be what they need. And ultimately that's going to be foundation one ounce gold coins, Britannia's all as basic as possible. I don't want to leave anything collector because the dealer, whenever you've got loved ones cashing it in, can also take advantage of that. You don't want to have them going up and down to find the perfect home for it or going through auctions and the likes of. The modern coin collector market today is where the dealers have put it. That The mints don't even, I keep on saying dealers, but the mints don't even know where they're currently going with it. But Everything you see here is a prime example of where they're going. It's hit and miss. They're throwing a lot at the wall and hoping something sticks. And when it does stick, we get a Queen's B series. When it does stick, we get a, I don't know, <laughs> a Dragon Phoenix coin. When it does stick, we get, I don't know, a Moon Land in a Polo coin or something like that. You know, this is what we have to pick from today, whether we like it or not. Are your kids going to be into this? I, I see this more geared towards my age group. 30, 50, 60 plus, even older than that may not be interested, so interested in, in these types of coins, but this is what they're producing now. This is the kind of stuff that I'm currently into and you know, you'd be hard pressed to convince me that you can't make money off something like this. And that's what I'm in it for in the end of the day. So there's definitely money to be made off this modern junk. You know, there's definitely a lot of money to be lost off this modern junk. Prime example, a lot of the coins I'm showing back here, but I'm working with what I've got. I'm not working back as as profitable as it may be, you know. It's just, I want the ease. I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. You know, some may say an old ancient coin, I'm definitely not knocking that and I can see a lot of potential there, but I wouldn't knock the modern junk because modern junk today is, you know, yesteryears or time to comes, you know, historic, this coin here. 150 years from now who knows what it's going to be or who even knows what the collector coin market's going to look like but everything you see now has turned off a lot of the old classic collectors and we're left with what we have here now 
overpriced, yes, but you still get the added bonus that, you know, the intrinsic value is going to be silver or gold. So I most definitely wouldn't knock it. But, you know, if somebody comes up to me and puts their collection up to mine and says, this is real collectors and this, you know, apples and oranges, mate. It is what it is. I'm working with what's here. I'm working with what the current mints are making. Mints are doing a lot of whenever they do throwbacks if it's either war memorial stuff or you know homage to the queen they're they're very one track minded i think the mints in general need a a spice in the creative department but i can't see it happen anytime soon at the moment they're doing a lot of money grabs stuff where if it does well they'll just churn it out and milk it for what it is no one knows where we're going to get when we got the, with the current hits what's going to happen from there but you know it is what it is we're still waiting to see what happens on the lunar series we Luna Series 3 from the Perf Mint. At once upon a time, that was the creme de la creme. That was the best thing out since sliced bread. A lot of the older collectors, that's as far as they'll go when they're talking new modern stuff. But once again, it is what it is. But guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. I didn't know he was where he was in terms of time. But like I said, this is maybe something I constantly do and just pick out a few of the most important questions and take it from there. And then, you know, it'd be a lot easier moving forward but these have been a collection of some of the coins that you know as great as they are didn't go on to do too well and this is a prime example when i say didn't go on to do too well i'd say if anything it could be purchased now for a lot cheaper than what i purchased it for and that's just the nature of the beast sometimes at the time this was the i don't know what the selling point on this we've not had a reverse proof kook at the time a rush to buy a lot of proof coins i'm showing here so that's a lesson that could be learned depending on how you look at it but it really is what it is but you know i'll get into a more in-depth video on this at a later date but it'd be fantastic to hear your thoughts and opinions as to why you're still stacking silver do you think it's going to shoot up in price tomorrow please let me know if it's not regurgitation or whatever it is even if it is let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions on that let me know what you think the best hits of 2019 have been so far even if it's a continuation or something that people should definitely be watching and let me know what you think about all this collector coin stuff here in terms of it being modern junk and you know it can't hold a light to the older stuff and because you have to remember we're moving forward from here if mints ain't going to change or if do mints do change they're going to need some type of input from the current collectors and believe it or not anybody watching this and myself included are the current collectors you know the golden age collectors are, are checking out or we'll be checking out and soon we'll give them another decade at that so Hey, I love it, guys. It'd be fantastic to know what you think of this video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the rebound.